It's a PTO day, guys. Today I'm doing my hobby, my side gig <laughs> as a makeup artist. Um, I have a graduate and her mother to do today. So I'm doing two faces. That's where I'm headed now. And I'm going to their location. They live in McDonough, which is about an hour away from me now. So I'm headed there now to do their makeup. Even though it's a PTO day, I'm still going to probably check a couple of my emails or try to get a few May renewals completed today. Um, see, that's the thing with this work-life balance, guys. I... Let's chat for a second. We have time. The last couple of days have been very exhausting, mentally and physically exhausting. And I find myself kind of treading the waters of not balancing my work life situation like I want to. And yesterday was just so exhausting for me. I had to literally pray and really just remind myself that you know this job is a means to an end sorry guys i had to pause my husband called um i forgot what i was saying but yeah yesterday i had to really just stop and pray so let me just tell y'all guys what happened so today is wednesday all right you guys know i work from home monday thursday and friday my schedule just changed i used to do three days in the office two days at home and now it's switched i do three days at home two days in the office so monday i work from home like i normally do except for on monday this week dre also had a client from 8 to 12 in his at home studio um and so usually when he would tend to the kids while i'm working he wasn't able to because he was working as well so with having so much to do at work and being so behind i mean any type of distraction pulls me away from work and i have to understand that because i have children at home they're not in daycare and a lot of people are like well why don't you just put them in daycare well i have three children and they're five and under that is a lot of money okay a lot of money that if we literally had to had to do it we would just have to do it and make it work but we don't have to do it um I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about probably getting an in-home situation, an in-home nanny, maybe a couple days out the week. But the fact that we have one car too, it just doesn't make sense. If we had another vehicle and anyway, that's another story for another time. So I was being pulled away all day Monday to tend to the girls. And then even after his client left at noon, he wasn't feeling good in his body. His body was feeling sick. It felt like it was shutting down. He he was he had to work that night. And so he wanted to rest before work. He was going to call out of work, but didn't call out of work. So he ended up going to work. So Monday I did get some things done, but not a lot. Okay. So while he was at work, he told me he was not feeling well at all. So he was going to take the next day, Tuesday off so that he could rest. And because he was not feeling well, I said, okay, well, I'm just going to tell my boss, I'm going to work from home on Tuesday and then switch my day on Thursday, come into the office. So that way, if he is, you know, in fact really down and can't do anything at least i'm there with the kids and if i need to take them to the emergency room all of that okay so because i was working from home on tuesday i knew i was working from home on tuesday i said okay when the kids go to sleep i'm gonna try and knock out a lot of may renewals which i ended up doing around one in the morning because i was still up cleaning and all that type of stuff around one in the morning i logged on the computer and but from one to i think i logged off at 3 15 a.m I cranked out renewals and I got a lot done okay I was able to get a lot done without any without any distractions I turned on my music I turned on some YouTube and I listened to it while I worked okay <clears throat> and I did this because I know I was gonna work from home so I was like huh instead of getting up at 7 I'll just get up at 8 and work well, seven o'clock comes around and my body, I guess, is just used to being up at that time. I said, okay, let me get up and work. I messaged my um, boss and told her, hey, I'm going to work from home today. I'll come in the office on Thursday. She was fine with it. Guys, I was so delirious that whole day working. Like, my face looked like this all day. My kids talk 
talking to me. Mommy, can I? I'm like, yes, honey. Yes. I literally was just so exhausted. On top of that, I was tending to the kids and I was working. Okay. Dre couldn't do nothing. He was sick. So he was literally in bed the whole time. Okay. And I can't be mad that he's sick because, I mean, he can't help that he's sick. Okay. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to get all this stuff done. Literally demanding things, guys. Um, just to update you, it's just me now. Okay, as you guys knew before, there was a contract underwriter. The contract underwriter no longer works for the company. The first week I was back, you know, they decided to let her go. So it's literally just me doing my lines of business now. Okay. Which I was doing literally before, you know, until it was time to maternity leave. But with all this back work, all this back work, and then all the renewal, it's just so much work, you guys. It's just so much work for one person to complete. All right. So all day yesterday, I was just literally, all day yesterday, I was just literally delirious. Okay. To the point where my mind was just so exhausted and I started to get irritated. I found myself snapping. You know, when my kids are asking simple questions, so I, I, I stepped away, I took a break, I went outside, I prayed, okay? I prayed, I prayed, and I said, Lord, help me in my attitude, okay? Help me in my attitude, Lord, help me to be patient. Oh, God, Lord, help me to find the balance. Because, yes, although this job is important, it's a means to an end, it um, contributes to our livelihood, my children and my husband are more important, and I always have to remember that. They always come first, okay? And, you know, I prayed and I asked God to help me with my attitude and not to feel some type of way towards my husband because he can't help that he's sick. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because I'm being transparent. It's because this this is thing, these are, these are things people go through, okay? And I, Christ is within me and he is my source and anytime I feel down or anytime I feel he is who I run to first for help so that's what I did I said Lord I'm not feeling right in my mind you know I'm exhausted I'm snapping at my kids I'm feeling some type of way towards my husband and it's like God help me because he can't help that he's sick you know in marriage it's till death do you part in sickness and hell through, through all that and Lord said help me to be supportive help me to be loving this job why am I upset because I can't work I mean yes that's important to me but as of right now my family needs me and so I pray I started to thank God for everything he has done for me I said Lord thank you for a job where I can be flexible to work from home Thank you for a job. I don't have to clock in where my time is logged. So if I want, if I need to step away, I can step away and then come back. Thank you, God, for that. And when I started to thank God for what he's blessed me with and, and the position that he has put me in, it started to remind me and it started to help my thinking, you know. And so that attitude started to slowly go away. Now, did it try to come back throughout the day? Absolutely. <laughs> because right when I came back in from, from praying, my one-year-old logged me out of my computer, literally locked me out, and I had to call IT to let me back in. <laughs> but I'm saying all of this to say that, you know, sometimes you have to really step back and think about what's most important. Here I am stressing myself out about work and things. Is it a lot of work? Yes. Is it a lot to be done? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. It is. It is for one person to do it. Absolutely is. But what's more important? I From seven to three, I grind out and do as much as I can to the best of my ability. And then when that's over, I give my time to my family. That's just the mental I have to get myself into because these companies, and I'm not talking just about my company, but I'm just saying in general, if something were to happen to you and God forbid you you die, your position will probably be on the post to be filled like in two days. You know, so their show goes on. So why am I halting my show over here and bringing stress to my show over here when they're not stressing with theirs? So even though the last two days were extremely rough, I'm thankful that I got through it. And, you know, I'm just trying to reel it back in 
reel it back in, give my all during those seven, th those eight hours that I work, and then when it's done, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it, you know? So, yeah, that's my little spiel, my little rant. Okay, I'm gonna head and do this makeup and then get back home to my kids. I'm gonna cook dinner tonight, okay? I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. I'm gonna watch a movie or something with my husband. And I'm gonna enjoy my life. I'm not gonna let work run me to the ground. I'm not, I'm not, okay? All right, let's go do this makeup. I'm gonna use this makeup to, to give me a little bit of therapy as well. Let my artisticness, <laughs> if that's a word, flow today, okay? All right, thank y'all for listening to my rant. It is currently 6.21 a.m. and your girl is on time today. Hello guys, welcome back to another day in the life video. Today is Thursday. I feel like I'm always filming on a Thursday. Maybe Thursdays are just the days that, I don't know, work for me, but I'm not working from home today, okay? I have to go into the office and I'll explain why because Thursday now is my work from home day, but I had to switch out days this week. So I'm headed into the office. Nice, simple, business, casual look. I'm going to grab my work bag and my breastfeeding pump bag and we're gonna head out. Um, I put some work out for poem to do today. I'm just gonna scan this here. All right, so this is the work that I'm going to leave for her to do today, um, just to stimulate her mind a little bit, y'all. We're getting her ready for kindergarten, and she has her kindergarten screening next week. So yeah, I'm feeling really good because I'm on time. I got up early, I cleaned up last night, and I just feel good and great and ready to get into the office and knock some work out. I was on PTO yesterday, so I got a day of work backed up on top of all the other work that was backed up. <laughs> so I have my work cut out for me. I'm gonna grab my coffee mug because your girl's gonna need some coffee when she gets to the office, okay? Grab me a little Danish to take with me so I can have breakfast a little bit later on this morning and let's go. Your girl needs some gas. Only got two bars. Good thing I left out on time. started my to-do list and so far on my to-do list I have emails I'm gonna work on workers comp renewals I have a few buying requests to do that I did find in my emails when I you know checked what was going on while I was out and then I need to update a few new business quotes that went out with new payroll information so I'm gonna get my coffee heat up my big Texas roll and get to work <sighs> okay guys so I tried to start working, but I had to just step into a little conference room. Um, oh God, I'm just struggling guys, I'm struggling. Dre caught me because po uh, Posey's awake. My baby, she's three months <clears throat> and she's breastfed and she's hollering, he, he video chat me. She's crying, she won't take the bottle. She's breastfed, but she does have bottles too throughout the day, but I think that she's used to breastfeeding first thing when she wakes up in the morning. And usually I'm able to breastfeed her before I leave out for work, but today she didn't wake up, so I left the bottle and she's just hollering. She won't take the bottle at all. He, my husband's a sick cause she's waking up the other kids. I'm just, I'm so, I don't need to not be mentally focused right now. And I'm not mentally focused right now and I feel like crying, but I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> I'm just, I'm being transparent because this is real life. 
I wish I could, could I don't know what I wish. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wish I could stay home and take care of my kids, at least while they're young right now. But I also enjoy having a career and working. <sighs> It just kind of threw me off, you know? I mean, if I was there, of course, things would be fine, but... I just, I don't want him to be stressed out. I don't want my baby to be stressed out. I mean, I'm just struggling, guys. I'm struggling really right now. And I'm trying to focus on work and it's hard for me to do. And I haven't even started. I literally just got my coffee, sat down, was about to start work and come back to my uh, desk and had three missed calls. I mean, I said, what do you want me to do? I mean, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so, okay. Well, the show must go on and she'll be all right. She won't starve herself. If she's hungry, she's going to eat. I just pray my husband has patience with them. Okay. All right. Back to work I go. Hey guys, so it is 12.22. I'm in our wellness room here. This is the room where you can come if you're not feeling too well and just kind of chill out. They also use this room for nursing mothers who need to pump, like me. And then, you know, there is a health monitor here for you to take your blood pressure and all of that. So this is where I come to pump, which I am about to do, but I just figured I'd check in with you guys to let you know I feel a little bit better <sighs> after that little mood swing earlier, but everything's good. I talked to my husband and I had to be dramatic for a second and I was just like, you know, maybe I should quit my job. <laughs> And he called me after I, t after I texted him that and he was just reassuring me that everything is okay and that the baby is just spoiled and he's not feeling too well. So with a baby crying and all of that, it's just kind of hard on him too. So he definitely reassured me and, you know, made me feel a lot better. So I was able to go back to work and focus and I just thank God for him because you know, it's good to have a partner who, when you really need them, like emotionally or mentally, they know the right things to say and, and to get you back focused. So, yeah, I was able to get some things done. I got 10 renewals done. Uh, I'm going to try and pump really quick, get some lunch and get back to work. Try to work on some new business quotes. We have some really good prospects coming in for workers comp and... For instance, one, uh, they have really good loss runs and they're looking for a target premium around 71000 So I'm thinking we're going to be able to get it done. And if we can, that'll be a good, good win for me. So, yeah, let me get to going and get back to work because I got to leave early because y'all know Thursday was Thursday. Poems dance. <laughs> I'm always filming on Thursday. Poem has dance practice. This is her last dance practice before recital recital is this weekend and then after that they go on break and we'll see if she wants to dance again next season but today they're having like a little pajama party so she has her little barbie pajamas and yeah i'm gonna have to go, i have to text her dad and tell him that he needs to do her hair <laughs> which is so funny it's funny when he does her hair okay y'all let me uh let me get to poop in here i got my little machine <sighs> So I'm here with the family. Say hey, Pal Pal. Hi. And we are headed to dance class. I just came to pick them up and Dre jumped in the driver's seat so we could get there on time. Um, yeah, so I'm glad work is over. It felt like a very, very long day, but I got a lot done, which is good. And then thank God I can work from home tomorrow and just finish up the week. 
Huh? It's no more oranges. Poem has her pajama party today, which is her last dance class before recital. I think I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Oh, they got you turned, baby. Y'all get goodie bags? Yeah, yeah, and, 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 Miss, and I told Miss Ashley, I, I, I told her that I can't, I can't eat this, so, so, so she said, she said, so she said she was like, like, I'm going You told her you can't eat sugar? <laughs> like, like, she, like, she was like, still giving like, can, can eat, but you gotta be, but she would get her food, but she would get her fruit. Gun. Oh, okay. Well, that's responsible of you to say that. You want a sandwich, Papa? <laughs> Papa, Papa, Papa. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. We just got groceries, so we cooking tonight. You guys you know, usually Thursdays we grab a bite to eat, but we are cooking. Mommy, yes? I know I was going to, but they didn't have the shrimp scampi. So maybe while you're at dance, we can see if the pogre near your dance studio has it. Okay. Cause I sure thought about making it tonight. But yeah, so I'm gonna um, shrimp scampi. I mean shrimp scampi. Huh? You show the I know I can't see the pose. Have you heard? Her, have you heard Paul call her that? The pose. <laughs> hey guys. So you already know, today has been a day. And the day is almost over. It is seven o'clock and I am about to make dinner, feed my family, okay? Well, I got out my work clothes, got comfortable. And now I'm about to just chill and cook. What do y'all do when y'all cook? Do y'all like to listen to music? Do you just like to, one second. Do y'all like to watch YouTube videos? Do you like to just, I don't know, cook and be in your thoughts? I like to watch YouTube videos, so that's probably what I'm going to do. The kids are here. You said what? You back up, Papa. They can't see you. Go back there. Say hi. Come here, Papa. So tonight we are making shrimp linguine pasta. So shrimp scampi. Yeah, shrimp scampi pasta. Now, this is not what I normally get, y'all. What I normally get is a McCormick um, shrimp scampi mixing pack. It's like dry seasoning, and then you add the things to it. We really like that. But Kroger's didn't have it, and I didn't feel like going around a different store looking for it. I know for a fact Walmart has it, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to go into Walmart. Today was one of those days. <clears throat> so... We have this Campbell Cooking Sauces Classic Scampi. And I'm hoping it's good. So it already comes as a liquid. I don't know too much about that. But I'm hoping that it's good. So uh, you cook your linguine. You cook your shrimp. You add this after your shrimp is cooked if you got raw shrimp. But I got cooked shrimp. I got the large shrimp. I probably should have got two, but we'll see add your lemon juice and they have an op option of adding crushed red peppers and then grated parmesan cheese i don't think i'm gonna add the peppers in because the kids are eating this and they like shrimp scampi linguine and i don't want to ruin it for them because i don't even know if this is going to ruin it for them because this is the typical thing we use but we're going to try something different And then, of course, we're gonna have some garlic bread sticks. We got this for when we made the um, jerk chicken pasta. And it was really good, so we got it again. Yeah, so let's get to cooking, y'all.
Dinner was so good. The pack was all right. I personally still like the McCormick mix, but my girls, they loved it. So that's a win-win. And right now, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time with my oldest daughter. You know, sometimes she feels left out because there are two little ones and she's expressed that she feels like I don't have time for her anymore. So after dinner, I said, Poon, let's go, let's go color a picture that we can put in my work room. And she was so excited about it. Of course, the little one has to come in there too. I can't leave her out. But I really intentionally wanted to spend some time with Poem and color with her. It's the little things that count when it comes to your kids. You know, we try and work a lot so that we can give them the best life. But things like this is what they are looking for. And here is our colored picture that is now in my office. All right, and so I will close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still here, watching all the way until the end, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video.